said I would do it. Didn't I? Plants that are fighting against the undead. The video game. Are they allowed to do that? You know, I thought Flaky wasn't streaming. So he'd be able to catch up. He'd be able to watch. So Flaky specifically told me. Oh yeah, I want to watch you play. I want to watch the Plants vs. Zombies stream. I'm, I'm not busy on Saturday or Sunday or Friday. He's streamed all three of those days. So, Flake, if you're watching this, this is your fault. If you're watching this VOD after the fact, you put this on yourself. This is your, It's your fault that you didn't catch this live. And now you can't watch me play Plants vs. Zombies live. Take that. Anyway, hello, Tiniest Bean. Hello, Risto. You'll probably join us when you finish streaming. Yeah, in four fucking hours. <laughs> it's been streaming for five hours? Oh my god. Yeah, we're fighting Flaky. He's had it for too, too good for too long. Anyway, as you can see, I'm playing the Xbox 360 version of Plants vs. Zombies. This is the version that I grew up with. I love the Xbox 360 version, and somehow, it has all my save data. So the save data has to be on the disc or something, because this is not the original Xbox I played on. And as you can see, I have a golden house. <laughs> I was considering playing the PC version, but I just- I don't like the PC version as much. Also, my cursor is a little wonky. I could tell him that you started streaming, I don't wanna... I don't want to interrupt him. Yeah, my cursor, this c cursor controller is a little, little wonky. I'm now realizing, at least it's not wonky on Dark Souls, which is the most important part. I mean, like, you kind of need good control for Dark Souls. Thank God there's a dead zone in that fucking game. Demipulse actually crashed today. Congratulate! Oh my- what the fuck is wrong with this controller? This is worse than in Oblivion. Uh, congratulations, your first crash, question mark? I mean, it's not a good thing, but it's a- it's a first. You know what else is wonky? Me. You're me too. I have to use the fucking D I'm gonna have to use the D-pad for this game. That's gonna be... Oh, terrible. Or I just have to, like, I don't know, be careful. See, it's just gonna go up. It's gonna- It's gonna go up without my consent. You just did that there. Detesting the amp for an enemy. Just straight up crashes when I summon the enemy in. That's a fucking issue. Yeah, that's, a. Uh, that's what we in the industry call not good. Barely conscious. What the hell is DP? It's a game that Ring Beast has been working on. Anyway, I love the Zen Garden in this game. It's... It's wonderful. They fucking ruined the Zen Garden in Plants vs. Zombies 2 by making it all about either getting money or plant boosts. And so, plants... They- they are- you don't have a permanent Zen Garden in Plants vs. Zombies 2. They're just like consumables, essentially. I mean, the Zen Garden really should just be all- all about... ...growing plants. Being Zen, you know? But no, fucking... 
post PVZ1 Popcap is a is a different breed. He started making mobile games. This is just gonna be a ranch stream about Plants vs. Zombies 2. Yeah, it should be about the Zen. But in PVZ2, it's all about the maximize, maximize time, optimize DPS, get boosts. Like, fuck off. Let me, let me like, keep my plants or something. God, I hate mobile games. You played this game on DS? It's- it's kind of crazy this game has a functional DS port. Yeah, no, I've never played this game on DS. I never played this game on mobile, really. Uh, cuz, like I said, I... I played this game on Xbox. My disc, by the way, for Plants vs. Zombies, the inner ring is cracked, like, all the way through. I don't know how much life is left on this disc, and there's not much I can do about it. I have to, like, I can't put it back in the case because it is actively breaking the disc. So I'm gonna have to, like, the thing is, the only case that might not break the disc are, like, multi-disc games cases. And the thing is, those need multiple disc slots, so... I don't know. Because, like, the Final Fantasy XIII case I have... ...has no pressure on the rings. And that would be great. But, like, I kind of need that for the three discs Final Fantasy ha Final Fantasy XIII has. I don't understand the concept of time being limited in any game. It's horrible to me. Oh, you don't have a concept of time. Yeah, honestly, I used to get really stressed out in games when I was... when there was a time limit on missions. Or something. Now it's, like... It's not really so bad, but... I don't like mo- I- I don't like mobile games. I don't like Plants vs. Zombies too. It just... It is every, like, 2000s mobile game. And everything- everything bad about it. And none of the good parts of Plants vs. Zombies. At least in my opinion. Like, I played Plants vs. Zombies 2 when it came out and I was, in, I was extremely disappointed. It lacks, like, all the charm from the original because... It, it is a greedy mobile game. <laughs> By the way, this is a, this is a stream about Plants vs. Zombies 1. Like... In Plants vs. Zombies 2, I would have to pay real money for fertilizer and... and fucking bug spray. I guarantee you that. You got a copy of RE2 for three bucks at Goodwill. That is a steal, honestly. Uh, I just went to a thrift store and I got a copy of Lumens on the PSP for five dollars. To me, that was a pretty good deal. I was surprised to even find a copy of Lumens in the first place. Because that game is like... I wouldn't... I mean, I, I don't know if it's not obscure. I, I don't think like many people know what that game is. I was very happy to find it. And apparently, it is very cheap on, like, eBay or something. It goes for, like, eight fifty complete. But still, that is a... You know, that's a, uh... Three and a half dollars cheaper than what I would have bought for it online. And I don't like buying games online. My xylem is ting tingling. Is he allowed to say that? I think I used a cheat code for this guy or something, because... 211... Th that's too much. Anyway. 
Yeah, I, I like- I like finding gems in stores. It's part of the fun. Anyway, I guess- oh, I did all of these. Um, so... I'm not at the very beginning. I'm pretty much at the beginning, actually. I don't know if it- it doesn't start at 1-1. Holy shit, you're flying peak, finally. So apparently I don't have all the games done. On PC I did all the games. But on this one I don't have Bobsled Bonanza done, apparently. I probably hate this minigame. Hello, Bart. Some of these minigames are not fun, but some of these are very fun. Uh, I love the minigames, like... One of the most fun parts of Plants vs. Zombies 2. So that's- that's just what I'm gonna do right now. I like slot machine because it fuels my crippling gambling addiction. Play the slot machine? I'm way ahead of you. Bart doesn't even know. <laughs> Never mind, you already are, yeah. Does he know, chat? Good for them. Oh, I forgot if that's sunflowers. Oh well. Come on, game, don't make me waste my lawnmower on a single zombie. I also love the music. Alright, one thing I'll give Plants vs. Zombies 2. It, it remixes the music very well. I do like Plants vs. Zombies 2 music. I don't like it more, but I, I still like it. It's still good. That peace shooter should be able to kill that guy. Okay, we're good. We're gaming. Gambling pays off. Oh, fuck yeah. Gambling is so paying off right now. Yeah, so, I have been playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 offline, but I've been playing a modded version of the game that removes all the microtransactions and shit. Um, so it's mostly vanilla- uh, it, it's, uh, it's a little rebalanced, too. But, uh, st it's- it's still- it just feels okay. It, it's not like- And that's not- that's not saying the mod is bad or anything. I just think base Plants vs. Zombies 2 is a lot less interesting and a lot less charming than the original Plants vs. Zombies. Okay, this game is, like, a little loud. That's why. Okay, now- now the sound effects are too quiet. There we go. Alright, I don't know how interesting this stream is gonna be. <laughs> I just- I- th I think it- I find it quite funny that I've been playing Xbox 360 games, like... ...for the past dozen streams. Past two weeks. Wake up, babe, it's 2008. Hop on Xbox Live. Nostalgia series, yeah, I, I guess. 
I was considering playing Oblivion today, because I do want to play Oblivion, and I might switch to Oblivion. I wanted to actually play Oblivion offline. That's like, oh, I gotta- I gotta keep Shmembi pure. <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that. But yeah, it's, uh... It's kind of surprising. I wanted to play yesterday. But I woke up super late, and I did not feel like streaming. But, uh, yeah, normally it's... I don't, like, feel like playing a game off-stream. Usually, I stream to force myself to continue playing a game. Well, not usually. Sometimes it's like that. It's not- it's not always like that. Well, let's say... Persona 3 is- is prime example of forcing myself to play the game through a stream series. I would honestly like to stream Oblivion more frequently. And I've kind of, kind of done that, but I've been waking up really late and feeling really tired all the time, so... I usually call it off if I wake up at 4 p.m. because that's way later than I would start a stream normally, even though I started this one at like 3.30. Yeah. Uh, mo normally, I've had a hard time figuring out what games I actually want to play. And there's there's some from software games that I want to play, but I have to hold off on them until I like get to them in in a series, right? So it's kind of tough because I want to play Enchanted Arms right now, but that is that's like a dozen games in on the From Software series. And I could play it out of order still, but then again, I would also want to stream Enchanted Arms, and that's going to make it take even longer to play. Here, Sunflower, you are cannon fodder. Is this Dark Souls 2? This is the Dark Souls 2 of gaming. Except for everybody likes this one. the tiredness. I usually wake up too early and then nap for several hours. I just wake up too late and I'm like, fuck, I've ran out of time for things. Yeah, I know I was talking about a change of arms. I don't really know what to do in that situation. I don't know if I should play the game or or wait. I also have another JRPG that I need to write about. Like, I finished Digital Devil Saga. And it's like, I've had that on the back burner for three months. I'm not motivated to make another video right now after the Kingsfield 3 video. I can't start another JRPG, because then I'll have more JRPGs to write about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. Dark Souls 2, but the souls... REI... inhabited their corpses, and now they're attacking their the natural habitat. What the fuck is an REI? Huh? There you got 2025, son. I, I broke the game. Oh, the souls re-inhabited. Right. I'm just fighting Dark Souls Hollows right now, actually. Walnut Bowling Steam fucking slaps, by the way. And if you don't think so, there's something wrong with you.
I'm trying to wait for more zombies to spawn, but it's just not happening. Oh, I... I wasted that one. Bowling one is kind of slow though. Remember, Walnut, Walnut Bowling two kicks ass. That thing is insanely fast. We're gaming. We're actually comboing their ass. No, all on it. Why'd you have to go down? You're so sexy, haha. -ha. Oh, why didn't you get those guys? I've somehow it unintentionally triggered the pole vault zombies every single time they've spawned in before I even saw them. I've, I haven't played this minigame for like five years. I didn't even... <laughs> I don't even remember where they spawn in. Oh, there they go again. Maybe I should have waited on that one. Alright, this one's gonna be big. If it goes up, it'll actually combo like it's supposed to. But fuck you! It didn't even hit everybody else! Oh my god. Don't go down. Thank you. Finally, a, a, like a chain combo. It only hit three guys. Alright. Uh, fuck you and fuck you. I'm such a gamer. Aren't you guys happy you got this instead of Oblivion? And my commentary is just exquisite. Bam. I got way too many exploding nuts. Come on. Anyway, I know I was talking about Digital Devil Saga earlier, and uh, I still do want to make that video. I think I'm gonna finally get myself to work on it. The script is already like I'd say maybe like 50% done. I have no idea. I'm kind of struggling on when I when I edited it off. I was kind of struggling on how I wanted to actually write the damn thing because I didn't want it to be like the King's Hill 3 video. It would just take too fucking long to make, and it wouldn't be very fun either. So I've been struggling in that department. And I, I don't, I don't know if I have an answer. Your nuts are exploding. You should talk to your doctor about that one. No, I'm, I'm okay. It's kind of funny when they do that. My exploding nut population is dwindling. I almost got the newspaper guy again. 
That would've been sick. That's not where I wanted to put that one. Well, fuck. There goes my ja that, that's what I get for having a janky joystick. You know, too many, like, too many dick innuendos in this one. Too many, like, nuts. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh yeah, my balls comboed on that guy so good. There you go. That, that's another one. I did that one on purpose. I got my first gold coin. So yeah. I mean, when I started writing the Digital Devil Saga video, it was... I think I rewrote the entire introduction. And now it's like I'm talking a bit more intricately about stuff without trying to spoil anything. I definitely don't want to spoil any like it's it's hard because I don't want to spoil this story. But it's so hard to talk about some of the things the game does so uniquely and amazingly without spoiling part of the story. So it's kind of like it's kind of an overview. Uh, but not an in-depth thing, like the King's Shield 3 video. We must save as many lawnmowers as we can. Please. Okay, we're good. That's close. That's good enough. But I am working on another video besides... Okay, so Heavy Weapon is Xbox unique, I'm pretty sure. So I've not played this one in so long. I have like a... Yeah, this is definitely Xbox 360 unique. Um, I've... did not play this. I've not played this for probably a decade. Anyway, I am working on another small video for the second channel. Uh, regardless of, you know, what I'm doing for the main channel, because I, I don't know yet. So that's, that's gonna happen. Uh, I actually just need to record more. Because I have... I recorded something with Flaky, uh, like earlier this week, and I edited it... already. I thought it was pretty good, but we realized we have to go back to the game. I don't remember if this is... I don't think these are temper... These are, well... Permanent, I think. I think these are temporary. Permanent? Yeah, permanent fire seems like a bit much. Anyway. I recorded something with Flaky and we need to go back to the game. So that just hasn't happened because he's been streaming GTA RP for the past three days straight. I've not I've not seen him for years. He's not honestly. I he he you know he might never come out again. I think the cattail is permanent. Decades, even. Yeah, I... Honestly, he might not be the same person anymore. With how... How deep he is. And then we were gonna play RE5 as well. But, again, like I said, we haven't had the time to do that, so... We're actually gonna start playing RE5 on the same night that we recorded the first thing. Oh, I was moving the wrong stick. I wasted 25 sun, it's so over. Uh, we were gonna play RE5, but he did not have very much time left, so... We didn't want to start a large thing and then cut it off 30 minutes in. But probably, you know, have an RE5 
playthrough to look forward to. If it's- if it's funny. I probably will be. Because we played a much shittier game and it was funny, so... I originally got... RE5 for him so that we could play Mercenaries, but... Apparently you can't play Mercenaries until you've played the campaign, and... So... It's kind of another excuse to play... RE5... Campaign. Get fucked, baller. Oh, come on. Die. Okay, thank you. You know, I wish I could play the entire campaign like this. I was very worried there for a second. I like how the... the ball hits kind of sync up with the music sometimes. Yeah, that's right, I'm hitting these zombies with my balls. They're not- they're no longer peas. I shouldn't- I should not have played Plants vs. Zombies. This was a mistake. Orbs, even. I'm a fan of orbs. My voice is scratchy despite not doing a single thing today. Not recording like anything. <laughs> so you know it's a good Cryvale rec good good Cryvale stream. He starts off already tired. Well, I gotta I gotta get some fucking oh shit my controller. That was the softest fall any of my controllers has ever had, and it's still disconnected. It gently slid down my blanket. You went thrifting? That is something? Yeah, that is all I did today. But that shouldn't wear on my voice. Lancer Zombie just really takes it out of you, apparently. This isn't gonna ha- this is, these, these guys aren't gonna get killed, are they? Oh my god, that was such a terrible combination of events. I wasted two lawnmowers. Because the fucking pole vaulters were right behind the, the football guy. Yeah, so I bought a... I shouldn't have bought this at the store. But I bought a an HDMI to composite adapter so that I could, you know, plug things into a CRT, but... I think it's faulty. It's not working. All my other cables should work fine, so I don't know why it isn't working. I tested out a different power cable and everything. And still no dice. So... I should have just bought it online or something new. But I figured I saw one at the thrift store and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I saw one there before as well, so that wasn't the first one they've sold. Oh, uh, there would be a fucking gargantua on my- on my lane. On my empty, no lawnmower lane. The game is fucking with me right now. If he throws a tiny guy, like it's over. Oh god, oh god, we gotta kill the tiny guy right now. Okay, we did it.
I was hoping I could orbital strike him in midair, but apparently not. Okay, but one of my favorite mini games, Plants vs. Zombies 1, is Be Gould. I really wish there was like an infinite. Wait, huh? Why can't I. Wait, what? Okay, my fuck ass cursor is really not. I can't do anything, what? Okay, I have to hold X, that's it. Uh, I wish there was an endless mode for this. If only there was, like, a game that was just like this. No, they wouldn't make that. The D-pad is- the fucking D-pad is fucking me up, too. I should just go back to playing Oblivion. Don't you fucking dare. Oh my god. Blood is gonna get eaten. No! My fucking plants! Fuck you! That was a big one. I really hope I can get, like, a... A mushroom down the middle. There's one. I gotta... I gotta make this work somehow. My analog stick, my analog stick just fucking... It sticks? It sticks, that's for sure. I wasn't even pressing it. I don't think I have any other options. What a shame. Okay, that was kind of big though. Right, guys, be sure to tune in for the next 50 parts of my Plants vs. Zombies Let's Play where I just say, like, gamer buzzwords. A oh, huge. Oh, let's go. Oh, my analog stick is getting worse. This- I I've tested my other Xbox controllers. It really is this specific controller with this specific battery pack that makes it work. Because this battery pack does not work with other controllers as well. That or the other controllers are, are even more faulty than this one. So this is literally my only Xbox controller. When I was playing Plants vs. Zombies, I, I didn't expect to be just playing the mini-games, but... This is usually what I do when I revisit the games. There are... There are no hostile plants in that row. Okay. Sorry, I'm so locked in. I gotta make B-Gold regionals. So, I can't dilly-dally.
Don't you dare eat one of my fucking plants, I'll kill you. I mean, you're already dead, but... You know what I mean. Oh, that's it. Kind of gaming. It's worried I wouldn't find the match. I think I would have to, like... Shake the keys to my face and highlight a specific plant. Well, that was the stream. <laughs> You know, originally I wanted to have people give me challenges for the the campaign, but I don't. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be playing the campaign. All right, the Zombie Aquarium is is the game. Brains. The game of all time. Wait, I'm out of- okay, I'm not out- it wouldn't let me place them. Gotta love playing the game ever. You guys ever played Feeding Frenzy? That's another game I played on the Xbox. I have like an arcade compilation disc. Feeding Frenzy fucked. That game fucks. I don't- I don't know if you can play it on PC or anything. Like, I- I haven't found... Like, where to actually play that game. Nowadays. But I still have the disc. Probably. That's the, uh, that's the homework for today's nostalgia stream. Play Feeding Frenzy. Preferably on Xbox 360. with the arcade compilation disc. So why do zombies produce sun? Do they, do they photosynthesize? But that doesn't make any sense. No, they, they would soak in sun. But, but, you know, in the sense that they produce energy from, well, they eat brains. I don't think, you know, <laughs> Experience becoming a killer whale. It's not exactly what Feeding Frenzy is. Alright, I remember this game being more fun. Uh, I like the aquarium in the Zen Garden a lot more. Yeah, play Feeding Frenzy. This is basically Insane Aquarium, but zombies. Yeah, I've never played Insane Aquarium. I gotta remember how this shit works. Game, don't baby me right now. Just don't think about it. So gaming. I did not think that would be a match. Did not think that would be a match either. I wanted to match those stars and I knew it wouldn't work, but I was like, oh, I'll just press the fucking button anyway. Hmm. Game, don't baby me. Don't. Why would you fucking do that? Okay, I didn't see that at all. 
I've played stuff. It's so fun when your cheap-ass aquarium is filled with 100-plus fish producing diamonds and getting attacked by aliens. What? <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of that. Oh, game, stop fucking... Fucking rattling the keys in front of my face. I'll not figure it out when I don't figure it out. You know? The ghoul twist is really the, uh... The difficulty curve for Planter his Zombies puzzle games. Be ghoul twist is on a whole nother level. Uh, uh Franklin or be ghoul. You have no idea. Yet yeah, apparently, like, my brain lacks. Uh, the mental capacity to comprehend these puzzles. Why are you sleepy? You just woke up. I woke up three to four hours ago, actually, Buster, and on like seven hours of sleep. More like six and a half. Okay? <laughs> Give me a break. I am really tired, I'm sorry. Have you showered? Not today. Not today, pal. No possible moves. You fucking shit ass! If the game just refreshed sooner, the plan wouldn't have died. I'm starting to recognize the patterns. I can see the code in the system. Take a nap on your behalf. Thanks. Wow, that's that's so nice. Thank you so much. I was gonna press that before it started highlighting it, I swear. The game did not help me there. Oh, we're fucking gaming. So gaming. I... It's so over. There's no... I can't recover from this. Two plants eaten. I'm fucking... Tr I'm traumatized by war right now. These goddamn zombies keep eating my men. I'm very, th I'm very thirsty too. Did they eat another plant? Oh my god! I was joking, but it might actually, it might get a little dicey. Stop it, analog stick. Jesus Christ. Q 
Keep biting your walnuts, SMH. I know. Those are my nuts. Those are private property. Not even asking for permission. Stop biting my nuts, bro. Yo, <laughs> that, that my my nuts can't take much more of this. No, I was gonna sh I was gonna shuffle. Fuck you! Oh my god! Oh, and my star fruit. You're an asshole. You're a monster. He didn't do anything to you. Your nut, what? My nuts can't take much more of this. My nuts have actually failed. <laughs> My nuts broke down. How else am I? How else can I tell you this? I've got two nuts left. I have four, actually. Get on my fucking level. <laughs> okay, my nuts are so back right now. You're actually gaming. Press <laughs> got four balls. <laughs> Is this why Beagle Twist is the best minigame in the series? Nothing can compare. I'm so fucked right now. Actually, no. We're gaming. My nuts are l much larger than they were a few seconds ago. I've upgraded my my nuts. <laughs> this is the this is the only joke of the stream, everybody. That's all in the day's work. You stop talking at your goddamn nuts. Oh, sorry, Jesus. I love call him like you see him, but it's the same thing every time. Like, it's- it's just... Yeah, whack a zombie. It's just gonna be so horrible on my analog stick. I remember I struggled with this game on PC. Like... I had a hard time keeping up. With a mouse. So, this is gonna be something else. I have weird images of you in my head right now. Hey, pal, you gotta pay extra. If you're gonna have weird thoughts about me. You gotta become a member. <laughs> There's a premium Cryvale fee. Can't control our brains. I'm gonna like reverse your thoughts. Like, you know when Mr. Krabs like steals the movie a guy just watched? That's what I'm gonna do to your head if you if you think weird thoughts about me and you don't pay up. Oh come on. I was trying to break that row. I'm gonna think excessively weird thoughts now. 
Not excessive weird thoughts. That's too much. That's a that's a bit excessive. Hope you guys enjoy hearing the fuck 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 fuck. That's not what you think. It, that's not. That's not what I meant. That's not. Stop it. I can hear you. The weird thoughts you have in your head. That's not what I mean. So you can tell my analog stick is just like itching to go up. <laughs> Such a weird champ. Are you talking to me? Oh, fucking diamond! Premium plants versus zombies, two currency. Holy shit! No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm spawn camping these fucking zombies right now. I mean, yeah, that is. I mean, they, you know, they. Ah! Uh, <laughs> my finger- <laughs> My hand is starting to cramp up. My right hand. Specifically. Wink, wink. You gotta pay extra. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This gets fucking insane. Oh my god. Like, I can't keep up sometimes. Okay, the Malik can hit two lanes. Oh my god. Best Cryvale stream? What's the point of this game? Just keep hitting them with the hammer. Yeah, the, the point of the game is to keep hitting them with the hammer. I don't want to play Walnut Bowling too. Walnut Bowling's too kind of hard. I definitely don't want to play Zombotany. I actually hate Zombotany. Why are you so based today, Matt? I- I- well- I'm on my racism- I'm on my one racist day of the- the month. And the race of choice is zombies, of course. He's gonna choose the walnut bowling. It's gonna be hard with my fucked analog stick. I'm gonna try to use the D-pad if I can. I'm obsessed with walnuts? What can I say? I love nuts. Did you go to church today? Fucking course not. What do you take me for? A man of the Lord? I make YouTube videos. And not very good ones at that. Do, do you think... Do you think the Lord would forgive that? No. No, he wouldn't. I'm a lost cause. I forgot they added the, the big nut in this... <laughs> in this game mode. I love the big nuts. It's a game of... <laughs> it's, it's a game for a man of the Lord to have four nuts. Two big nuts, three exploding nuts. Not today, Michael Jackson. I... You can I can't get... Ah, oh, there's a normal nut. Fuck yeah! Got him. So satisfying. I also like, uh, how in this- in this version, the large nuts just... 
Like a pole vaulter will try to pole vault over a large nut and fucking die anyway. It's the funniest part. Wish I had some big nuts. Just play plants versus zombies. You have free big nuts. See, watch this. <laughs> Get fucked, idiot. Matt, what is your opinion of beans? Of course I love beans. What do you... Oh, is that even a question? They're delicious. Chili? Top tier. That is not the lane I wanted it to be in. Fuck. What's your opinion on garbanzo beans? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I, just, I mean, you know... I'm fine with garbanzo beans, but... In my neighborhood, like... No. I just don't trust them, you know? Oh, get fucked, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Things you never thought you'd hear in a Crybell stream. Whoa. Yeah, sorry, I just... Garbanzo beans... You never know what they might be up to. That's not the fucking lane I wanted, jackass! God damn it. You floaty fuck. Mac and cheese in the Michael wave? I love calling a microwave the Michael wave. It's like my favorite thing in the world. It's- it's the little joys in life. Ah, fuck. Michael Jackson still spawned his... his posse. We're getting a little dangerous up there. Come on. Thank you. That's fine. I was gonna take that. Uh, that's- I was not- I didn't want that. I can't hit this one fucking zombie down here. The top row is lost. Billions will die. The top row is back. Holy shit. How is- how did that not- uh, that hits- that hits his fucking- his thingy? No! <laughs> no! Oh my god, we're saved! This is getting fucking sketchy. How did that not kill any of the, the spawned guys? You know, I should really let him just make more dudes so that I can get a combo going. Maybe, maybe that's actually the play. Uh, it's not great, actually. It's kind of a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of works. It's kind of bad. It's kind of a kind of a waste of an exploded nut. Remember, people, if your nuts explode, it's fine. Just don't waste it. 
I did you not realize there's a zombie with a door so close like that? I do. No, I know he's there, I just- I can't fucking do anything about him. That's shit. I thought that'd be a normal nut. That's not really- that's really not good for me, actually. It's gonna be terrible for the economy. Oh, yes. Yeah, get fucked. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna have the top row. Yeah, that's- that's over. It's not over. It's never over until it's over. Uh, where do I want to use this? Fuck. That's not where I wanted to use that. That's- ah, uh, it's an explosive nut. I can't believe Matt doesn't know about the lawnmower. Dude, <laughs> I know about the lawnmower. I don't I don't want to lose it. That's what I mean when it's over, if it's over. I don't want to lose the lawnmower. Oh, this sucks. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm super exposed. Big nut would be kind of nice right now. Of course I'm not gonna get a big nut. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna win, actually. I, I think it- I think I've lost severely. We've suffered heavy casualties with the lawnmowers. I blew my big nuts too early. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's- Top row is lost. Yeah, top row is lost. Fuck. This is the final wave. No zombies might come in on the top wave, so we might be good. Maybe I should have saved that for the Michael Jackson. Fuck. We just need to draw the right nuts. I know that I have the perfect nut right here. Yeah, we won. Oh my god, that was that was fucking hard. Ugh. But our nuts prevailed. Mega nut for the win. That's the last you guys are going to see of my nuts, I'm sorry. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do now. That's kind of uh that's kind of the m most of the fun mini games. Last stand is just Cobb Missile Simulator. Dr. Zomboss's Revenge is pretty fun. Love this minigame. And a killer soundtrack, too. Fuck yeah. This is how Americans felt about the War on Terror. What do you- what do you mean? <laughs>
What emotion are we feeling right now? Fucking love Dr. Zomboss's theme. Kick ass theme. What? What? Oh. How are you eating right now? How'd you get that far? Uh, because I have, like, no fucking plants. It's giving me, like, no plants at all. Oh, I think I'd, uh, get fucked. Oh, I didn't get your ball. Oh well, whatever. That's for you to decide. Is Dr. Zomboss a metaphor for the American government? You decide. Go ahead, eat the plant pot. It doesn't taste very good, does it? That's what I fucking thought. I hate these latter guys. Bane of my fucking existence. Is Crazy Dave a grim reflection of the American people? Society. See, the strat here is to freeze him all the time, and then you, uh, you deal a lot of extra damage. Make sure you always have one freeze and one I fucked it up. He's probably gonna drop a car now. Not necessarily. Doesn't look like a car to me. Oh, that's not what I fucking wanted! You can't cancel- Oh my god, that's such shit. My drifty ass joystick, are you kidding me? Apparently you, you can't fucking cancel- A shovel. After you're already shoving. Which is, uh, quite bullshit, I must say. I mean, you can mid-shove, but, like, if you are fully shoved, you can't unshove. Is basically what I'm saying. My fucking corn on the cob, dude. Strategy is to not suck. That also is true. Pretty sure he has like double health in this one. Now, right now, I uh, I am like completely full up, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep freezing him, honestly. 
Like, look how much extra damage I'm dealing. That one missed. How much is PVZ influence? Yeah, see, th oh, that fucking sucks. I hate it when he does that. How much is PVZ influenced by the War of Terror? A lot more than you'd think. This is not good. Hey, hey pal, back off. He just... Bro just stomped my fucking cabbage pole, what the hell? As fuck. So you can you can get a little fancy. You can you know jalapeno him and then ice him. Glass him, boys, and he's dead in a second. I think he's actually dead. He's just waiting to unfreeze. Yep. <laughs> I get fucked, Zomboss. He's French, by the way. As you know. Funny. Uh, that's, uh, that, that's Plants vs. <laughs> Zombies. French Bon Joe. <laughs> bon Joe. He's French so we can hate him. He's French because he surrenders. And I'm racist. Call him like you see him, it's fun, but it's like I said, it's the same shit every time. You've you played it once, you've played it once. But fun, like I said. Good music, too. I'm telling you, the Plants vs. Zombies soundtrack goes unreasonably hard. Mini game is just like a power trip, really. I love the squash so much. Such a silly little guy. Huh? I put the chompers here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. I didn't realize they had even more fucking ladders. Um, this is awkward. How did- how were you fucking there? I didn't even see you. Come on. Oh, I think this is the first time this has happened to me. Am I bad at video games? 
No, it can't be me. You know what? <laughs> Go, Chompers. <laughs> Go more backup Chompers. We're gonna hold the line, men. I haven't played PvZ in so long. Bart, you've missed, like, every minigame I've played. <laughs> I've played so many of minigames right now. Uh, you know what? I, you know, uh, I'm kind of worried, honestly, about this situation that I'm in. It's kind of bad news, actually. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this has ever gone this poorly. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> um... Sorry I had shit to do. God damn, Bar, what the fuck? Are they gonna get the middle row too? Are you kidding me? It's so over. The West has fallen. <laughs> I know I missed a load of peak gaming. Can't fucking believe you, Bart. Ah, uh, well, guys, this is awkward. Uh, can we talk about this? Can. Good to know. I think these guys are capable of killing the gargantuars before they get there. Don't worry, Bardo. You missed this match showing his big four big nuts. You missed my nuts, dude. Can't believe Pants vs. Zombies is sec- Uh, this might be bad, actually. Oh, shit. I'm gonna lose. I actually lost. I lost Column like you see him. You missed your nuts? As I lost- I lost Column like you see him. I can't believe I actually lost. I got a very bad luck. Where are the hot mommy zombies? That's what I... You know, you're just saying what we're all thinking. Yeah, I used all of my lawnmowers in phase two. Because I got... I got... Rushed by so many zombies. Well, now what? At least the zombies didn't eat your nuts. They might as well have been. Why do the zombies climb up the roof anyway? Have they not tried the front door? Are they stupid? Honestly. They spend so much resources getting on the roof. Like, they're already at... If, if you think about it, they, they are... If they can get on the roof, they can already get, like, to the front yard. Like, to the front of the house to get onto the roof. I don't know what to- I don't know what to do anymore. I was, uh... I was actually- I was... I was gonna switch to Oblivion. <laughs> soon. Or when I got done with everything, but... I know Bart just got back. Bart, is there a minigame you'd like to request?
slot machine? Okay. He still is the first one I played, so... You guys may notice as well that I have a, a higher bitrate. Um, I used to stream at 4,000 bitrate, but now, for, for some reason, I get like fucking 20 megabyte upload speed now. Just out of nowhere, my internet is actually good all of a sudden. So I can stream at like... I can stream a much higher bitrate if I wanted to. But I'm kind of testing the waters to see if, like, it'll work, you know, and it won't crash and burn. So I'm streaming at 6,000 bitrate right now. And that's pretty good for 720p. Oh, hey, Flaky. About fucking time you showed up. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just joshing you. Till they take the internet back and your stream crashes and dies. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Uh, I'm gambling. Why not campaign? I mean... Ca campaign is just kind of boring, honestly. I don't know if I want to play the campaign. I wanted people to give me challenges for the campaign. So maybe we'll do a couple missions, but... I've played through them like five times. I play through the campaign so many times. That's not where I wanted to put it. No sunflower run? It's that's very much possible. Somebody has done that already. And apparently it's doable. I I I'd do it, but that wouldn't be very fun. Like he went to a court today, and thank goodness he lost. Ah <laughs> oh, man, sorry to hear about the divorce. Or congratulations. It's 2010. Damn, the new Skyrim title that releases next year sounds like a cool game. I can't wait to play it. I mean, I've been hooked on Oblivion for this month. They named a new law after Rosemary. What? What's the law? I'll plant the fucking thing. Oh my god. Every fuck. Oh. It was a mistake playing this on the fucking Xbox 360. God damn. I didn't know my controller would be this messed up. Flaky, I've played most of the mini games. I've been having a good time. The law was that any marriage that happened outside of San Andreas, the state service is, is invalid. Like, don't bring this shit up to us again. I don't- we don't care. If you're not there, then you- Shut your yap. I don't think that's the law. Gemstone gambling has finally paid off. It only took me like 3,000 sun. I'm telling you guys, if you just keep hitting that slot machine, you will win. Eventually. Statistically, you will win at some point. It's just... It, it is just math. So, you know, I, I'm just saying, you don't, you don't have to gamble your life savings away, but you can. And it may or may not double. And if, when it does, just slide a little bit that my way, you know? That's all I'm saying. 
Have you played the new Fallout New Vegas game? I think it's the best Fallout in the series to date. It still is. Still is like 14 years later. If I could pass laws one myself, I'd make gambling mandatory for at least 8 hours. Just like total... or per day. Not very clear on that one. Fourteen years later? What are you talking about? Oh, you know. You'll see. I hope- I hope Obsidian makes more Fallout games. New Vegas is pretty good. Just came out. Pretty, pretty... impressed. Lurk and get dinner. This, this guy, this guy joins my streams and immediately leaves. Can you believe? Can you get a load of this guy? Can you believe this shit? Are we you from the future? Did we make it? <laughs> Define making it. <laughs> Close this tab. Uh, come the fuck on. Oh, all right. So we can't win. We gotta keep gambling. We gotta keep gambling until we hit the jackpot of gems or something. This game does get progressively harder as you play it, so. My my fuck ass joystick is is actually gonna make me lose by accidentally collecting sun. Oh my god. It's gonna happen. Wish that all my homies make it. <laughs> Me too. I wish all my homies heal from things they don't talk about as well. Real. <laughs> we're we're getting we're getting a bit emotional in the Plants vs Zombies stream. This game really brings it out. This game really brings out the best. Happy Happy Veil, vale, 20, 2010 Veil, vale, where you know you just got out of school. He's grinding the campaign. So he can get that imitator plant from the store. Look at that sunflower encased in nuts. Surrounded by nuts on both sides. Bet he's having a good day. I would. I would be. For this stream to be best, you have to stream at 144p. <laughs> Fucked up audio in Nightcore. Uh, yeah, true, actually. We're gonna try to maximize our real estate. Let's start by tearing up these sunflowers. on my cursor up there, I might accidentally win. <laughs> Min-maxing PVZ. I used to do this. I used to, like, play... Slot Machine. 
and just see how long I could go. You know, I was gonna put, like, shooters in these three row- in, like, these end two lanes before the walnuts, but honestly, we need- Oh, no! Ah, oh, fuck. We needed as many walnuts as we could get. I wasn't- I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's it. That's the end of Slaw Machine, I guess. <laughs> Midnight, I'm not reading that out loud, but... Funny. Alright, what else would you guys like to see from me? I'm not ending the stream if we stop playing a plant services on your thighs. You're gonna have to pay extra for that. For real. Stop being horny. By the way, guys, I got the golden house, by the way. Kind of a gamer. <laughs> I am crazy Dave. He is so me. If I pay money, how much thighs will I earn? Well, do I have to shave them first? That's the question. I don't know, it depends, <laughs> depends on what you're paying. I will, I will whore myself out for money. I'm not against that. <laughs> no shaving. I, I love Plants vs. Zombies music. Plants vs. Zombies 2 stream win? I fucking hate Plants vs. Zombies 2. Do you understand? But, like I said, I have that modded thing. That I've been playing. So I could- I could switch to that, but I don't really feel like playing it. It's- It's not like... It's fun to play for like 40 minutes at a time. But this is just a problem with Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's not as intriguing to play as the original Plants vs. Zombies. It, it, it's, it just feels like a sequential collection of levels rather than a campaign. I know in, in Plants vs. Zombies 1 it kind of was just a collection of levels, but there was, there was an order to things and it felt like things were moving along each mission and you, it would break up the pace with conveyor belts every five levels. So, you know, it, it felt more like a proper game, but Plants vs. Zombies 2 is just a mobile game. Le the levels feel more like a chore than a campaign. And that's all- th that's all they have. It's just the stages. There's no mini-games. Like, the stages are mini-games sometimes, but there's no separate mini-games. Plants vs. Zombies is Plants vs. Zombies. True. Yeah, true, chat. at me. What the hell? Have you played Garden Warfare? Yes. Don't talk to me about Garden Warfare. Disgrace. 
Well, honestly, it's not Garden Warfare's fault that the series is... A sh it, it's not Garden Warfare's fault that the series is... Uh... You know, like, not Plants vs. Zombies anymore, but... It just kind of feels bad, man. Because... I got to, like, level 200. Because in Garden Warfare, it's like... It's it's just not even Plants vs. Zombies at that point. It's it's a shooter game. So it's just like, man, it kind of doesn't feel... It's just after Plants vs. Zombies 1, they, they just never made like a proper Plants vs. Zombies game ever again. It was fun as fuck. You know, I never really enjoyed that game, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the fucking squash. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what I wanted to put it! It's so over. Eat this. No! <laughs> Did I really? Oh my god, I lost a face breaker one. And, and I lost it with a streak of zero. That's it. My career is over. I hate face breaker. It's a good wireless third-person shooter. I liked it, but I understand your point. Yeah, it's probably fine. Like, if PopCap made more, like, real, like, another good Plants vs. Zombies game after that, it'd be fine. But it just, like... It just further furthers the descent of... This series will never be the same anymore. It just, like, is the solidifying moment, like, oh yeah, Plants vs. Zombies is never gonna get a proper sequel. After Garden Warfare came out, so that's why I don't like it. This really is like a relic of its time. <laughs> they don't make them like- they don't like- make them like this anymore. Yeah, what, like, what sane developer would add, like, 50 minigames to their existing game for- just for fun, and not profit or anything? Just, it just wouldn't happen anymore. I'm sure Garden Warfare is fine, though. I just... It also came out in that era where shooters were all too common. Just like... Now, where live service and battle royale games are and extraction shooters and shit. But. So I. My PS3 level is at 200 ish. And then I got it again on PS4 and I got to like level 80 ish, I think. You guys wanna play Guardian Warfare? I don't even believe the servers would still be up. People even play that game still. It's also a competitive. Sh I know there's a. The only part of Garden Warfare I've played was the uh, co op base defense mode. I don't know if that's in one or two. And that's all I would play. I don't like competitive shooters that much, so. I think it's it both. I didn't really play that mode. I don't think many people did. I'm a freak that, that doesn't like competitive shooters, so...
I'm a competitive garden warfare player. Good for you, pal. You know, that is, that is a pretty unique... ...personality trait. Sorry, I'm so fucking tired. We should probably switch to Oblivion. I think it's time for Oblivion. Yeah. Let me grab some food. And put some more water. And we'll switch to Oblivion. Thank you. 
All right, gang, sorry. All right, so what I'm gonna do, since my disc is severely fucked up, I'm starting to crack in multiple places. I just, I'm not gonna put it back in the Plants vs. Zombies case. There's a part of the Oblivion case that is very light, like very loose hold on the disc. So I'm just going to put the Plants vs. Zombies disc in the Oblivion case. <laughs> very gently. There we go. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put the... There's a DLC disc for Oblivion that is never used. So I'm just going to put that in the Plants vs. Zombies case. So that Oblivion is still in the Oblivion case. Because this Plants vs. Zombies case... I, it, it, it is... Dangerous. It is like... It is a disc destroyer, apparently. It has the tri-point... Push top. And I think that might just be bad. For your discs. I don't know, it's bad for my plants versus zombies. Please, boss, be gentle. Oh, of course. Anything for my plants versus zombies disc. Sorry, I was, uh... Preparing my dinner. Crash was apparently rare, and also all of my code for that specific enemy was riddled with issues. I mean, I assumed so. That's what caused the crash. Hold on. The stream's current bitrate, 6,000, is higher than the recommended bitrate. We recommend that you stream bitrate of 2,500? Do you want my viewers to watch from a Nokia phone or something, YouTube? Wait, excuse me? All right, I changed the title to something similar, but effective. Fucking home menu got me nostalgic. I want to fish out my 360 now. Despite having the Elite model, it's, it can't connect to the Wi-Fi. It's bugged out. Unfortunately, I can't play any of the indie games I wanted. He asked for assistance. The guy helped me, sent me a fixed version of the script. Well, it doesn't crash anymore. It still doesn't work properly because the enemy won't render. Let's see, it's been a long time since I properly played on a 360. That was before these Oblivion streams. It's nice. But honestly... I hate the menu themes of the 360. They're so bland. Once we get past the Xbox and PS2 era, all video game consoles are like have bland menus now. It's just like we've lost personality in our consoles. It's a real shame. Told the guy it worked to be nice. Well, his fix technically worked. But maybe not, you know. Maybe your code doesn't work now. Alright. Jean Frasoric has tasked me with finding Jiska. I should speak with the guild mages in Bruma.
I'm nothing worthwhile to steal here. I don't even know if it's considered stealing. All of it is either high contrast boxes and logos or shiny high contrast boxes and logos. Or or it's just like Tihi minimalist menu. Guys, look at our clean clean menu. There's no distractions. There's no personality whatsoever. My name is Selena Arania. I'm a mage's guild journeyman. I Okay. Cool. Good for you. I have to sell. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Dominate humanoid. Hold on. Hey, yo. Summon Daedroth. Holy shit. Uh, I'm spilling all my vegetables. Honestly, when it comes to modern consoles, start a Schmex club and charge 200 for one night. I'll make my profit back in, in days. What do you think about eating peas? I mean, they're fine. It's a fine vegetable. So... As far as, like... Modern game consoles go... The Switch is not a good menu, but it's not a bad menu. Out of, like, all the modern consoles, the Switch has, like, the only good menu because it isn't fucking littered with ads or or other stupid shit. Like, even in the Xbox 360, there's advertisements for everything in the menus. And that hasn't gone away over time. It's still bland. At least the games take up the most of the space. The Wii had a good menu. Well, I'm not- I'm not counting that in the modern consoles discussion. Also, Bart, talking about Stardew Valley. I've been playing it. It's been fun. I like, um... I've just actually, I would say, a part of the content that I like, but I've only been fishing. So... Another satisfaction. Does Windows 11 still have ads and file explore? If it does... Look. That's awful. I like you and all, but... I really don't want to get in the middle of this. If Valinara and Jaskar want to have their fun, fine. I'm not going to participate, and I'm not saying another word about it. Take it up with them. Okay, lady. Jeez. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? I love fishing, so that's real AF. Thanks, Bart. Oh, why is it reset? Are you fucking kidding me? You got a great deal there. That's a fair. You drive a hard bargain. A good price for a good. I like PS4 and PS5 UI. It's okay. An X. At least you can have a theme, so which is that's nice. A fair that's more than I'd 
Can't say I like it that much. I don't like, but I don't like the PS3 UI that much either. I just don't like how it's all laid out, I guess. Kind of want to make my own console fun, or at least a proof of concept animation. Yeah, I don't, like... Major tech companies can't even fucking make a console. Like, <laughs> your business. You'd yeah, you'd go bankrupt probably. No, no offense. You tried to make one. But yeah, I mean, like proof of concept for consoles and stuff. <clears throat> it's cool. I'm choking. It's much easier to manage than trying to figure out how to produce a console line. Trippy even, basically LSD plus a bubble bath in home menu form. And it, it, it is immediately gonna- would be better than any modern console menu. Because nobody wants to take artistic risks anymore, apparently. They gotta maximize profits and ad space. One console. One model after saving for like 2,000 years. Honestly, just like, you use a Raspberry Pi or something. And just, like, put it in a shell or something. I'm just thinking of, like, a budget way you could possibly make a console, in quotes. This dude just has a fucking pelvis on his desk. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't we all? I was, you know, I was joking because I couldn't see the full bone, but this is a pelvis. What's a pie? A raspberry pie? You, you're telling me you don't know what a raspberry pie is? They're basically like micro PCs. That you can heavily customize, and run Linux on. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Volinara, at your service. Need a spell? Need an item recharged? Need a witty practical joke played on someone? I can handle it all. Hmm. Oh, Jean has you looking for him, does she? I'm afraid you're well, not I going killed to find him. him easily. I think uh, uh, a spell backfired. Yeah, he's just um, he's just gone. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Uh, I'm afraid you're not going to find him easily. I think uh, uh, a spell backfired. That's probably it. You sound very suspicious. With all due respect to our wonderful leader. She couldn't cast her way out of a paper sack. It's insulting that we're here, working for her, when she knows nothing. She's managed to butter up the right people just enough to keep her position. Tell me and about it, there's little we can do about it. But we have our ways of coping with the situation. Like killing your friend, Jaskar. The Mage's Guild has made more than a few enemies since necromancy was banned. Oh, those. Yeah, some protogen guy talked about those. Kind of based, honestly. Yeah, so...
I mean, you can use them for a lot of different projects. They're very versatile little mini PCs. Now, um, yeah, I heard, like, nowadays I, I've heard, Good to see you. you know, when I was, I was doing some research to see, you know, if I should buy a Pi 3 or a Pi 4. And everyone's like, oh, just fucking get a, just get a, a mini or like a micro PC or something. I don't know. Like, people are actually making like Windows based mini PCs, but, uh, th those are in the slightly more expensive range, in the like $100 ish range. But you can get like a Raspberry Pi for like $30 or something. More if you're buying like a full ass starter kit. I'm listening. And a higher version. He talks shit about necromancy, but necromancy in Daggerfall is listed as one of the oldest and most celebrated magics. Yeah, well, they said necromancy was just banned. I don't know. These. These goddamn liberal governments. Banning our fucking necromancy. Cursor or Analog stick, please stop moving. What are you looking at? What can I do? You too. Are you saying what what's gonna happen to me too? Are you gonna kill me too? Like you've killed Jaskar? But yeah, I got a Raspberry Pi one time. How can I go ahead? You're this yeah, okay. Take care. I got a Raspberry Pi, I slapped it in a mini PS1 case. Put retro pie on it, which is a How quickly we got a burglar! Oh my fucking god. It just it just Loads me to another area? What? Did they send me to fucking oblivion? Had to divorce my hot zombie femboy because of that ban. It's tragic what the empires- the, the imperials are taking for us. What? All right, it auto saves when I get kicked out of the guild, but it doesn't, you know, doesn't fucking auto save any other time. Man. I'm just going to have to fucking save every 5 seconds, aren't I? My name. Yeah, I don't fucking care what your name is. Let's do business. Another? My dance? Sorry, I don't have those kinds of mods. Wait, wait for the Cryville Skyrim playthrough. Story that you should play. Yeah, you know, I have more patience than I normally would with you, so call it even.
Thank you. Good day. Can Raspberry Pis have emulators on them? Can they play PC games? How powerful are they? Can they run Doom? Yeah, so there's like an entire Linux-based OS specifically designed for running emulators. Volinaro. And like a, a Pi 4 can run like PS1 and Dreamcast games. I don't know how well it can run Dreamcast games, but anything below that. Um, I'm pretty sure there they, there's a Pi 5. Either there's... Either they're up to Pi 4. Regardless, the newest model can, I think, almost emulate PS2 games well. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm afraid. She. But. Some. So yeah, they can. They're pretty powerful. They can definitely run Doom. Yeah, if you go to, like, the RetroPie site, there'll be a list of, like, all the emulators that it can run. Pretty much. And, like, how to set it up and everything. So it's good if you want, like, a portable, very compact emulation device, which is what I, what I have it for. Mostly for PS1 games. I'm not too concerned, like, about it running PS2 games. I still don't think it's at that level yet, because... I, it wouldn't emulate well enough for me to want to, you know, record off of that anyway. Can they run RPG Maker MV? Perhaps Half-Life. Probably could run RPG Maker, but there would need to be, like, a port of it for Linux. I I couldn't really tell you. For sure. I don't know off the top of my head. Tired of the nonsense din of the common tap room? Stay at Gerald View. Peaceful, tasteful, and only the most discerning of customers. Hmm. Did he go there? See, it just says take. It doesn't say steal. I thought books said steal when you would be stealing them. Apparently not. Oh, uh, hello, people. Don't, uh, don't mind me. Are you, hello. dear Volinaro? What? Hmm. Take care. What can I do for you? Apparently, wine can run RPG Maker, so you can emulate RPG Maker. Yeah, Look, pretty much. I like. I don't I know how well it'll run. But you can also, you know, you can make a Raspberry Pi into, like, a, a networking device, I think. You could make it as a media device, you know, store a bunch of movies on it or something, or music. Hello. 
any luck. Probably just... like dog shit to be fair. Yeah, I don't know. I tried using wine before, but wasn't uh, wasn't great. I'd say my experience. Please come find me as soon as you've located your scar. Okay, so... Hmm. I've already talked to people. They won't tell me shit. He might be in the general view. Hello. Go ahead. Alright, Voldenaro. You're gonna tell me where Jaskar is, or I'm gonna kill you. How about that? Uh, I'm afraid you're not going to find him easily. I think... You That's do. so. You're not gonna like what happens next, pal. I'll leave you waiting. If I made a mini console, the same desi I design ideas I came up with. You want to know where Jaskar is? I'm going to go to that inn. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You could pretty much, like, use a Raspberry Pi to... Potentially. I don't know how, like... I'm not an expert. So. But you can get it to run your code, pretty much. Or where is this in? Nord winds. I just swallowed something. <coughs> I don't. Okay, it was a piece of rice. He's invisible. Yeah, I remember that quest, but I didn't know if this was it or not. So he's not in an inn. But he's invisible in the basement. He must be really fucking invisible then. I have absolutely no way of seeing him. Hello. Does this guy know he's invisible? Is he like in a pocket dimension? Is he in limbo right now? Is he Schrodinger's... Scar right now? Don't fucking look at me like that. Get out of here. I fucking warned you. Last chance, bucko. Get out of here. That's right. No. No. Bad. Bad guy. Stay there. Do I have to wait for him to become Hello. become uninvisible? Is that how you do it? So I remember seeing this quest already. Oh god, he's just watching you. <coughs> I don't want him to watch me. He's a freak.
Look at this. This guy just different hobbies. That's not nice. He is a freak. Who crocket your scar? What? Go away. You'll ruin everything. Go away. Go away. Go. What? Is Jaskar gonna murder this guy? I wasn't doing anything. Go ahead. What is this guy doing? What is blood doing? What are you, what is blood doing? I can't I, I found your scar. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Question, why exactly do Argonians have awesome kind of hot tails? Well, you see, ring beast. Being cold-blooded lizards. They have to store that body heat somehow. And that happens to be in their tails. Hello. Okay, fine. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. My name. Be seen. He's just pranking anyone. He's not going to turn uninvisible until you report him. Fuck you. I'll kill you. Sorry, I was you know, a little upset there. Riddle me this, true son of Skyrim. Any luck finding Jaskar? You say you're for the Nords, and yet you're fucking an Argonian. Riddle me that. Please come. Any luck? Once I can see Jaskar again. What do I say to you? I can't. I found him. Guild members. He's invisible. Why all the important people in the guild? Archmage Traven lives there. What am I supposed to do? Please come find me as soon as you've located I'm gonna Scar. kill you. And <laughs> I just fuck what? flung your book. What? Look, I, if I That's what I said. This game fucking hates what me. What can I interest you in? A fine trap. You've made a good bit of gold. That's more than I'd usually. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Good price for a if you uh, riddle me this, true son of Skyrim, if you say you're for the Nords, why are you fucking an Argonian? Hmm. I it's quite curious. Good day. 
was not directed at anyone in particular. No, no, I'm not. No, you're... Uh, I, yeah, of course you're not. Of course, totally not. No, I... Yeah, I know. I am. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Argonians? Kind of have it going on. I have a femboy undead Nord. A Nord, most definitely. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no Ulfric Stormcloak. I I'm fucking a dude. Don't worry. I'm not. Fu I'm not fucking the Argonians. Hmm. Yes, I see. Carry on then. Don't ask me. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. What will it be? You drive, you've made it. That's a good deal. You're a good deal. Another. Take <laughs> it's even funnier now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jaskar isn't here at his desk. It would be a shame if somebody lock-picked it. Are you... Okay, with... with how janky the movement is, it feels like Jaskar is right here. He very well might be. Okay, so I can't report to the lady that I fucking talk to him. That I talk to an invisible man in their basement. Is she stupid? I got rice in my hair. You. You. You better fucking explain yourself right now. Hmm. Oh, Gene, I'm afraid you're. I talked to him. Hmm. What do I. What the hell? Can I. I already talked. I. I found him. Why won't anyone tell me anything? Ah, Oblivion, you. piece of shit game. You got me there. Thought you were actually gonna function for once. Let me just finish up my food. Okay. Can't stick out figure out what the fuck is going on about that enemy. I can't figure out what the fuck is going on with Jaskar. Open average lock. Hell yeah. Summon Dramora Lord. Holy shit.
What is... What is the lockpicking spell? Alteration. Do I have an alteration spell? Yes, I do. Oh, this is going to be easy. Alright, Jaskar. You have to cast this spell on him. Great. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that one. I think I should have been able to figure that out. I just forgot I had a dispel spell. I gotta find this twink again. I don't know if he's a twink. He just he just sounds like one. What's my alteration at? I have 70 conjuration? Holy shit! Oh my god! I'm such a mage. I'm like actually a mage. Game really throws you all the red herring. It's like, oh, come to the Gerald View Inn! Oh, there's this shopping list. Maybe he went out shopping. No. <sighs> no, he's he's just invisible. Invisible. I don't know how uh you're normally supposed to find this guy. And bend him over the dusk. <laughs> whoa, 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 we're getting a little we're getting a little uh very spicy in this Cryvale stream. <laughs> just I mean it's it just to show that he's no longer invisible, obviously. And just scar you lizardy fuck. Literally playing the Windows maze game right now to try and find your ass. I didn't think about that. Well, now you can't forget it. You're cursed with eldritch knowledge. Do you think Jaskar is wearing clothes when he's invisible? Like, is that the prank? What does Jaskar do all day? <laughs> Rimbeast, I'm not reading that one out loud. Oh, oh, I bumped into something. I think? Or is it the janky movement? Hi to you too, racist asshole. I imagine he dips his fingers in everyone's food while they can't see. <laughs> yeah, but they'd like they'd probably like see the, the finger shaped hole in their food. I'd I'd assume. Man, being a wizard is so fucking easy. You can just spam the same spell over and over again. She has a name. Yeah, exactly, and it's Smemby. Oh, hello. 
He sounds progressively more upset that I'm here. Like, as we go along. He was happy, then he was neutral, and now he's, like, actually upset that I'm still here. Wow, what a sh what a scam level up. I'm getting, like, no stats from this. Is because I'm leveling up too quickly? Imagine just scars over here and he like farts next to Volinara or something. That that's like that's all he does. He doesn't like do anything. Alright. You've unlocked more arcane secrets of altering the fabric of reality. Let's go. Gaming. Still lurking, Pookie. Flake, I haven't seen you in an hour. Oh my god. It's 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 fleek. It's fire flake. Oh one. It's fleeky. You didn't pay for the two thousand dollar EXP boost DLC. Hey Jaskar, I fucking see you. That's on self. <sighs> I not have a normal dispel. I'm gonna kill somebody. Did you buy the horse armor DLC? I didn't buy the horse deal armor DLC. Go away with. Jaskar just can't- Jaskar- Volnara, you're in on this! What can I- I saw you do that. I'm afraid you're not going to find him easy. Good day. Oh my god. I don't have a dispel spell. Where am I gonna get one? Who are Hello. you? I'm Hanlon. I'm a prospector. Alga's my woman. Nord style. None of that chapel wedding nonsense. What are you doing in here? Goodbye. She's not. Go ahead. This is an Alma. <laughs> are you lost? <laughs> May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Yep, I don't have a dispel spell. Goodbye. How do I get one of those? This spell do I even have equipped? Oh. Right, I can see him. You're in on this, you shithead. Anyway, my dad bought the horse armor DLC when it, back when this game was out. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we, we joke about the paid XP boost DLC, but... What? That's totally a thing in games nowadays. Oh, how gaming has fallen. Can you believe, like... <coughs> people used to mock and ridicule Oblivion for having $2 horse armor DLC. And now we pay $25 for skins in a free-to-play video game. 
That's kind of insane. Like, the... the mental disconnect that has happened around microtransactions. Nobody gives a shit anymore. And now... Now, if you try to complain, it's like, don't, oh, don't like it, don't buy it, like... It's still a fucking problem. It's actually forty dollars. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. I doubt there's going to be a Dispel spell here. You think the guards are going to get mad at me if I'm, like, constantly casting magic while invisible? I'm a shady-ass character. I think people would like me more if I'm invisible, actually. They won't know I'm a lizard. Yo, know, why are you Orpal? Let's do business. Oh yeah, this doesn't help me. Antus Vanen, retired. Sleep late and read trashy book. Okay. Why is the My Mystic Emporium is locked? Always. Goodbye. I need to get in there. They're waiting too. It's 2 p.m. Oh, why is it closed? Gentlemen. Greetings to you. All right, it looks like I'm gonna need to go somewhere else. Again. Alright, so, I've never been in Coral, but I have the city unlocked, so. Coral it is. Coral. Maybe I'll do the Mage's Guild quest for Coral. Been in court? No, I haven't. I don't believe so. I already rode to this part on horseback anyway. I count Wayne in Priory as I've reached Coral. Like I, I, I've, I've been here, but I haven't been here. Unless this is where that paranoid guy was. Probably not. Yeah, no. This is a really... ...funky statue. Uh, time to wait 14 hours in the town square while invisible. I could have gone to the Mage's Guild. I was actually looking for a spell shop first. Oh, what a, whatever. What is the place is this? The Oak and Crocia. Hello? No, I don't think we've met. Why you, I didn't press A on you. Likewise, I'm always 
always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Hey, you're the one they call the Hero of Kavach, aren't you? Yes. The one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city? Take care. Goodbye. Been doing three sets of ten squats for the past two weeks. I say it's pretty fun. Yeah, I do. I do push-ups pretty regularly. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Finally, some nice people. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Yeah, everybody says that, pal. You don't even buy my weapons. You too. The new booksellers in my town have only been playing two in-game days. He's so, his, his books are very pricey. But they're... Pretty massive. Who will help an old beggar? Not me. Used to do push-ups, but we found the weird correlation between those and the huge amount of throat infections I used to get. That is fucking strange. I would get some tendon issues every now and then from push-ups. It's like my my muscles could keep up, but my tendons couldn't. So I'd need to slow down sometimes, but... Now they just feel like... It's hard to do them when I'm tired. Because they feel so much harder to do when I don't have the energy, but I still do them anyway. But now I got a... I got a bench. You know, with a bar and everything. So it's nice to be able to do something the same kind of exercise in a different way. Because push-ups have been... It feels like there's a lot of pressure in my my head when I do them sometimes, and I don't like it. Magnificent, don't you think? Have you heard any word about the other provinces? They say syndicate. Astro riding speed 2 is an actual godsend, yeah. I hate having to constantly drink coffee or something. I am Alberic Litter of the Mages Guild. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. If you're skilled enough, Astrogar has a rather powerful frost spell for sale. Very effective. Can you steal you wizard hats? I fucking wish. I would love to wear a wizard hat right now. Yeah, I have no idea why push-ups would cause that sort of thing, but... Damn. Major life detection. Repulse undead. Summon ghost. I'll just buy spells, why not? They're pretty cheap. Tell your I won't tell my friends tell about you. Well, I'm come to Melorius Flores. I'm in charge of enchanted item reach. Yeah, I'm trying to get the spell. Goodbye. Trying to see who the fuck has it. I'd, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Arthur. May I interest you in some of my fun? Dismiss undead. Summon clan fear. Summon Daedroth. Summon Dramora. 
can actually cast that. Faded Wrath. Wraith. <laughs> Whoops. Flame Atronach. Um, <laughs> whoa. Um, yes, please. Skeleton Guardian. I'm gonna be fucking bankrupt. Spider Dr Daedra. Sick. Up. This is where I need to be. Goodbye. What is it, associate? I'm afraid I can't just write one up. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, you can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. You know of how flame atronachs are like really feminine? In Daggerfall, they're all big, beefy <laughs> men. <laughs> Hell yeah. She and I have I mean, an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she will determine what she is after and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here spreading her lies. Sounds to me like you're breaking protocol. Daggerfall gate confirmed. I mean, Cryvale. Oh, what the fuck? What do you? What? What about me? You trying to say? I see the skeleton guardian. I'm gonna save beforehand because you never know what could happen. How goes it? Good morning. There's a cool Have shield. Seen the and their dogs? He's just a skeleton. Just the way they dote on those dogs. Well, they're not hurting anyone, though, so it's no concern of mine. Excuse me. My. You're excused? Let's do business. <laughs> I passed her the other day. You wouldn't believe the look she gave me. Saying what you know She's I'm saying. It out on the whole. I do not like big burly men. Well, that's... well, I mean... Listen. This is... Uh, this is unfair to me. To put me in this situation. The dude has an egghead. <laughs> He's talking to the skeleton. <laughs> Well, at least they're slow and not too bright. Their pincers are sharp. Let's say before I take this, because this is probably a thievery. You like big burly men, like normal. Yeah, like any normal person would. Man, I don't know what happened to that book. Honestly. Oh, it's not even stolen. Okay, then. Yeah, just let me, uh... Me real quick. Hello. Oh, hello! Shut the fuck up, dude. I own you. I just stole your entire stock. And guess what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna break open one of your display cases, too. What do you think of that? My streamer is peak book hater. No, I... I... I like books. Greetings. In this video game. What can I... You never know. When you might need a good, strong potion. Best to... Oh, potion seller, I need a big, strong, hearty potion. Just kidding. 
Fuck, fuck this egghead, man. I appreciate. <laughs> he is. He is. So. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just in, people. Tobacco will help you resist paralysis. Can I make a potion that paralyzes whoever drinks it for, for like, forever? Like, permanently? And can I just call it the, the f fuck you potion? Very, very unique and funny, I, I know, but like, can I? What can I- Cause I just realized I can name potions. Like I want to, I I, I, I want to make a potion that is so bad for its tr for whoever drinks it. You've made a good. Bit. Another. Yeah, I would like to try it, but I don't have anything that causes paralysis. Make a potion that causes someone a huge disability that will cripple them for life. Yeah, and call it like the potion of fuck you or something. I know, very funny, very original, very... But that's besides the point. It's the potion of fuck you. And it's just paralyzing you permanently. My streamer likes to give people disabilities. Yeah, they're fucking eggheads. Alright, is it ethical? <laughs> no. Is it funny? Yes. Like, who cares about ethics? We're a mage killed. Now all of a sudden they want to, like, be on their high horse because, oh, we don't like necromancy. Yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that, pal. Yet you can conjure up skeletons. Oh, that's fine. But I can't... I can't resurrect dead people? Get over to yourself. I'm stealing your ham. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> the fuck out of here, too. <laughs> Push an egghead disability. Yeah, the th I want to feed it to that guy. He's asking for it. That implies that he's gonna, like, eat the potion or something. Yeah, I need illusion and mysticism up. So. Just spam the most visually annoying spell I could think of. Because everyone will love that. This is literally abusive Argonian YouTuber and her editor, she has an NDA with. Yeah, but the editor is me. I'm abusive towards myself. That's actually true, though. If I was an employee, so many of my rights would have been violated already. It's unreal. Is it legal to open this door? Maybe not. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yes. Absolutely.
Oh, it's just a private room. Just burnt my finger on my charger? That is an owl moment. You should stick your finger in between the two prongs on your... Don't, yeah, I don't actually, I don't want to even, like, finish this sentence. Because <laughs> I don't want YouTube to, like, get mad at me for saying it. <laughs> don't electrocute yourself. Is, uh, is the moral of that story. There was one time when I was feeling around for an outlet while also trying to plug it in and everything. So I plugged it in part way. My finger was in between the prongs. You know, so I could like line it up properly and I just put it in and I like I electrocuted myself. It wasn't that bad. It was just like a I felt very jittery. Oh, I wonder who took the book. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know if I could have died. Probably, I don't know. <coughs> I didn't. It was very tame, but it could have been probably really bad. Uh, it was hard to move my finger out, which is probably the problem. With electrocuting yourself. So, so be warned. Um... Although I was like 12 when I did that, so... You know, most people are probably not stupid enough to do that, but... What is it, associate? You know, just... For everyone's awareness. Where's the egghead? Oh, there you are. Good day. I got more of guild... Of more guild equipment to sell back to you. Resist paralysis? See, I want something like this. Good. But it's the complete opposite. Hey, this guy who thought if you stick a fork in two toasters at once, they'll cancel each other out. Yeah, no. I heard that was fake, though. That could be... That could be true or, or untrue, I have no idea. Yeah, no, that's... Obviously, that's... That's made up. Do you actually have to stick a fork in three? And again, uh, don't do that, actually. It's bad. It's, you know, controversial opinion, it's kind of bad uh, if you electrocute yourself. Is there a YouTube moderation possession bot? Let you know, you have been docked 40,000 social credits for saying that. Fuck! They got me. Hey, egghead. Good day. Let's do business. Take this. It'll be a really nice drink. That's a That's a fair deal. Thank you for... Farewell. You hear that electric stimulation, kinkers? Don't do it. I hope there's nobody like that in this world. Who am I kidding? There is.
I had a but feeling that was Irana. Fine. Ah, yes. You are a guild mage, are you not? Yet different from the others. Yes. Yes, this is good. There's a small matter with which you may be able to assist. It's nothing worth involving your guild in, I assure you. Best if kept just between us, yes? So, what say you? Uh, what is it? Excellent. It's a simple task, really. All you need to do is fetch a book for me. The book is entitled Fingers of the Mountain. It is of no use to you. You won't be able to read it. I, however, can and would This is a necromancy it. book. You'll find it at an old ruin called Cloud Top. It's north of Coral, up in the mountains. I'm afraid I don't have an exact location. Return it to me immediately when you have it. Make no mention of it to Tikius or anyone else in your guild. I will make it well worth your effort. Fingers of the mountain, huh? I need to tell Tikius about this immediately. Yeah, I'm totally not going to tell anybody in the guild about this. Smembi says as she goes immediately back into the guild. Someone dared this kid to put a paper clip in a live light switch, and he did, and the lights went out, and his hair puffed up, then he laughed, but he was like, after that, well, that's... Been to fire and steel recently? Better. What do you want? That's better than what could have happened, I think. What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is. Well, this is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the guild. I trust that as a member of the guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request. Go to this place she has described and return with the book. This is far more important than any petty squabble. So I kid live stream and someone told him microwaves can charge phones. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> What's to be rid of Arana as soon as possible. It would be funny if they were streaming from their phone as well. <laughs> you just... <laughs> you just, like, see the point of view from the phone. Oh, it's all the way up there. It spins around for like three seconds and then cuts. He was streaming from his phone. <laughs> you see the point of view of the <laughs> inside the microwave for like three seconds before it cuts out immediately. Yeah, no, it's it sucks. If it's like a young kid, it's like. It is kind of funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, by the way, I had horse armor and then my horse got replaced and I don't have him anymore. So. I forgot I'm invisible. You guys know that tinfoil turns to real tin if you put it in the microwave? See, Mr. Michael Wave doesn't want you to know this, but... It doesn't actually heat up food evenly. I'm just Get chill, bitch. An elven mace, huh? That's expensive. Your stream was cool before he started playing Oblivion. Fuck you. You take that back right now.
what a nice castle. Plants vs. Zombies is better. Plants vs. Zombies was a good time. Uh, but I ran out of things to do, so... It can't last forever. I'm sure people would get tired of the 5 hour Plants vs. Zombies stream. I just- I gotta- I gotta scratch my Oblivion itch. Fort Rails. I'm gonna get railed at Fort Rails, by the way. Oh, it's just a fucking scam. I don't know why I got all excited. Ariel, please stoke the fire. <laughs> what do you mean? I already said I was gonna get railed at Fort Rails. What more could you want? Thank you, Skeleton Guardian. You're a nice investment. Fire spell anything, please, dude. We're so cold. <laughs> Here you go. These goblins are so ugly. You take that back right now. No way their mothers love them. How dare you. You know, speaking of goblins, I saw an, uh, a, a Midna, you know, from Twilight Princess, Amiibo. At the thrift store, and I was very- I was contemplating getting it. She's not a goblin. But she's close enough. Speaking of goblins, <laughs> look in the mirror. <laughs> I'm sorry everybody, I love goblins. They are awesome. If it was a, if it was an amiibo of just Midna, which I don't know if they've even made those, maybe, but it was her riding Wolf Link, so I'm like, ah, eh, okay, I don't know. cool, but I'm not gonna spend thirty dollars on it. Now, if it was a different kind of statue, that's um, you know, it's a, it's a different story. We don't... This isn't that kind of stream. Goblins aren't actually that bad. See, we're... Goblins aren't evil. We're the evil ones. I wish I could have a goblin party member in Baldur's Gate 3. That's like literally all I want. It's a shame. I'm not... I don't- I don't disagree with you, Cryvale. I'm not sure all of us... ...agree, but I'm... I'm glad I'm not the only one. I thought it was weird. I thought it would be weird for- for a while. I was like, is this strange? Is this odd? A vampire dude's hot? I don't know why everybody thirsts for a Asterion. It's... I mean, I know, but... Uh, I like Gale more. He's a... He's, he's, he's a nice person. This is clearly a pressable button or something. 
Damn, that, that, his fucking jaws, though. Look at that. He's been, he's been mewing for centuries. Millennia, even. Look at that, man. There's also that demon lady, who's cool, I guess. You guess? Oh, she's my favorite. <laughs> She's the least psychotic woman party member you get. You have Lazel, who wants to kill everybody. You have Shadowheart, who's a who's like a, a literally like an assassin or something. Probably also wants to kill anybody. But I mean Karlek. She doesn't want to kill everybody. Okay. Am I stupid? Do I, like, need something here? I can't, like, do anything with these statues. These look like pressable buttons, and I... I don't understand, honestly. Keep every single one except the demon lady away. Well, Gale's- Gale's pretty normal. He's a broken man. But he's not psychotic. Those two are- are a mainstay on my team. And then I have Asterion because he's very useful. But, uh... He doesn't always approve of my actions of being a normal person and not killing everybody I see sometimes. But in terms of women... In terms of women... Karlak is the only one. I rest my case. Um, I s- Yeah, I- Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, mm hmm There's a lever there. Right. I like nice people. Yeah, nice people are nice. Here's what I was thinking. I thought there might be another entryway. It's not here. I... I'm not gonna find out how to... I'm not gonna be able to open that gate, am I? Well... Shit. Are you for real right now? Are you for real? Oh, don't fucking do this to me. Are you... Okay, you're joshing me.
At least I can fast travel out. At least it doesn't think I was falling. <laughs> For real? Persona 5 reference in my Cryvale stream? I love Ryuji so much. Speaking of Persona 5... I finished Persona 5 Tactica like a week ago or something. And, uh, you know, the story is surprisingly good, like... It kind of shocked me after a point with how good the story was getting. Like it has some peak cutscenes. I wasn't expecting the story to be so good, honestly. Yeah, for Persona 5 Tactica, I was honestly expecting the gameplay to carry the game, and the story would just be whatever. But it was the other way around. Like, the story carried the rest of the game. And the gameplay is fine. It's just not like... It just gets boring after a while. Cutscene is Morgana getting curb stomped? I wish. Friends with one of the hall monitors. The lunch lady teacher I had maybe two weeks before leaving to go to another school for the rest of the grade. See, I make enemies. With nice, nice people, because then they can't fight back. Definitely, that's definitely true. That's the truth. That's the real and truth. But yeah, I don't want to spoil anything for Tactica, but it has, like... It focuses on... Only a few characters at a time. So basically, you get a really satisfying character arc throughout the game, rather than it being spread out amongst, like, seven characters at once. So the writing is much more concise. Uh, and it makes it really satisfying. There's ample build-up for the character and their arcs. So this guy is just like some dude who joins your party. And you're like, oh, he's just some guy. He becomes like... The most important character for a time. It's kind of nuts. It just, it's pulled off very well, it feels. I was considering making a video on it as I was playing it, and I'm still kind of torn on that decision. Because the story was really good at some parts, like it, it actually is kind of nuts. Like I was not expecting that from Tactica at all. But at the same time, it's like I don't know if I want to make a video about this. It would be pretty short, and I, I might, I, I still might, even though, like... Because I don't dislike the gameplay, it's just fine. It has some good moments, but it gets kind of boring after 30 hours. So... Yeah, it's... I mean, it's it's just fine. And the biggest part, the story, is like, I don't want to spoil that, so... The mo main thing I want to talk about, I can't talk about. Six second video, tactical good, thumbs up. Yeah, honestly, real. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to be more than like 15 minutes. Just kind of an overview on Tactica. Because I feel like... 
I don't think a lot of people really gave it a shot because they were probably like, oh, it's another Persona 5 spinoff. And I was kind of thinking that too until I saw some gameplay and I thought it looked fun. Uh, but I really stayed for the story. So Persona 5 is itself is a JRPG and it's it's just an okay like JRPG. A lot of people say it's the fucking greatest game of all time. Probably because it's like the first Persona game they've played. But the writing is all over the place. Fingers of the Mountain. And it was $60 at launch. I feel like it, it's a $40 game. But it is like 40 hours, so it's not a it's not a scam. But I got it for like 20, and I'm very pleased with that price. Definitely worth that money. if I try to make a competent Kingsfield port. Well, the Sword of Moonlight engine actually comes with Kingsfield 1. Like, redone. For PC. I've never tried it. So I don't know if it's... If there's anything wrong with it. But... It changed the AAA standard back to 30. Make it much more affordable. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> like, there's- there is no way... ...with inflation and everything. Sure, it would be nice. I would- 40, even, for a new game. I wouldn't mind paying 50 for a new game. More than that, it gets a bit excessive. I'm waiting. Well, if it isn't my little helper... Have you retrieved that book for me yet? But yeah, companies with, with how much more games cost now... I don't think there's any way, like, most games are gonna launch at the AAA games. Now, what do you give oh, me? Oh, wonderful. I'll just take this from you and get to work translating it. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. I'll be at the Grey Mayor until I've finished my work. But please, don't disturb me until I'm done. This is quite a delicate business, you see. There's the mountain, part two. Have you heard anyone? Yeah, let me just wait here for twelve hours. But yeah, Tactica, I think now it's a, it's a good game to try. I gave it a blind shot, and I, I enjoyed my time. Although it does also fall off after, well, it doesn't f fall off entirely. Like, the opener is really good, and then it falls off in the, in the early midsection, and then it go comes back on. But that is like a crucial part of the game that it just feels really bland to me at least Hello. don't talk to me but yeah I feel like Persona 5 Tactica is pretty mixed with everything like I feel good about some of it and just plain or mediocre about other of it so Oh, she had left. Is she done? Hello, my little friend. 
I have something that might interest you. It sounds like she's gonna stab me. Most of the book to memory, but I took the time to write down a passage you might find useful. It contains instructions for acquiring a very special power. You'll want to read it carefully and then return to Cloud Top. I consider this to be more than a worthy reward for your help. I believe you'll agree, assuming you're careful. Be seeing you. So if I do this, I'm not going to get the uh, recommendation, aren't I? text you've given me is well beyond your comprehension, I'm afraid. I found one section, however, that has been appended by the Keepers of the Imperial Watch. Their notes will be of use to you. Return to the ruins of Cloudtop. There you should find a section of pillar that looks remarkably unlike any other stonework present. Carvings of the pillar are made by the eyelids. And the pillar has been infused with significant power. The following was scribbled in the margins of the book, presumably by the same men who took the pillar from its original resting place. The notes are smeared in places, so I have included what I could decipher. Do you note this sounds rather dangerous, and take whatever precautions you feel are necessary. Only seems to function outdoors, where it reacts strongly to magic. Terrible power, capable of striking a man dead on the spot. Transported the stone to a secure location in order to study it more fully. Guild wizards brought in to focus on the power of stone. Several severely injured. Stone finally turned, tuned to react to shock magic. Welkin stone necessary to harness stone's power. Success means powers of shock unattainable through other means. From the from these notes and the original Iliad inscriptions, it seems that our Imperial friends were attempting to harness some degree of the Iliad's magical power and marginally successful. So I should procure a Welkin stone for yourself. Or turn to Cloudtop to cast a shock spell at the pillar. Fingers of the Mountain, my favorite spell. Finger of the Mountain? I don't know if I'd like that. But yeah, I wanted to make a, uh... Like a general... Overview of Persona 5 Tactica and give it a solid recommendation. Because I looked on YouTube and there's like three reviews for Tactica. So... <laughs> I just think, you know, maybe, but I, again, I don't know. I, I'm not really motivated to work on any video right now. And I don't know if that'll just Good morning, still not feel fun or anything. I don't know. I'd like to try it. So we'll see where that goes. All right, Welkin Stone. But I mean, Bart, if you sh feel strongly about, like... Oh, I would... P fuck yeah, Persona 5 Tactic video. But... Then, I don't know, maybe, but... I just feel kind of... I am... I'm still kind of mixed on whether or not I want to make it or not, I guess. I wonder if Shocking Touch is going to fucking kill me. That'd be kind of funny. I don't have a long range shock spell. <laughs> Struck by lightning and I've... Granted a new powerful spell. Ow! Holy shit. Finger of the Mountain. Shock damage 40 points and 5 feet on target. I can't... I can't use that effectively. 
But that is... an awesome spell. Sorry, guild members. I, uh, I lost her. I don't know what happened. Ah, uh, the book was just not there. I, I don't know. Strange. Weird. What do you want? Nothing. Bye. You ever wonder if you have a fat ass? I don't have to wonder. I know. Yeah, so, uh, about Please. that. What do you... Is the book safe? What? At no time did I ever suggest that you should actually... Why can't I lock... Why can't I lie? Book. It cannot be left in her hands. This is a you problem, you buddy. Retrieve the book immediately. If you have any intention Come of on. receiving a recommendation from me. Good thing I joined <sighs> the Mages Guild. I did. You could steal it back. Yeah, Irana, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll just, you'll see. We'll catch up later. Crime. Crime is a, is, is huge. Crime is huge on Twitch right now. Crime is in right now. For Hello. real. You haven't seen my sons, have you? They went off into the forest to fight those monsters, and I'm worried about them. What a shame. My son. Yes, Rallis and Antis. They're going to fight off the creatures at our farm, but I fear for their safety. Creatures at your farm? For the last few days, we've suffered attacks from these creatures at our farm not far from Coral. They're coming from some place in the Great Forest. I don't know where, but Rallis may know more by now. My boys will dead. take up the fight, even if the guards won't. It doesn't matter if it's outside the town walls. It still affects us all. They expect me to go with them, but I... I fear in my old age I'm not the warrior I once was. No. <laughs> Somehow, I knew you'd do the right thing. You're asking a stranger for this, by the way. Quiet. You'd best get whatever supplies you need now, so you can get there in time. I... I... The Killing Field. And let me just... Actually, I don't want to override my save, just in case what I did was a bad thing. You never know. Oh no, what happened there? Oh, I don't know, that's strange. The book is gone. Streamed Hotline Miami? The entire game was stretched 20 pixels bigger than the screen. Cut off the UI. You hate to see it. Let's yeah, so I got the book. I didn't give it to her. Have you recovered? Finally, I shall see to it. 
I shall also overlook your uh, transgression. <laughs> it's a bad idea, pal. <laughs> to the arcane university. Could you let me know if there's anything I need to change about the stream? I mean, if the window is full size in OBS and it isn't going over bounds, you might just have to resize the window in OBS or something. That's all I can think of. I wait and I can't fast travel. On the mammy can't be windowed. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I could I couldn't figure I yeah. Not sure. Cause it shouldn't do that. If you're just picking up like your desktop, but Sometimes when I, like, have a an RPG Maker game, it will resize the preview against my will. So, it could be something like that, but you're gonna have to, like, resize it beforehand to what you think you want it. I'm afraid I have no time for small talk, friend. I'm waiting for my father, Valis Odil. And just shit in the corner of the room. I leaned back and stretched. <laughs> Can I Bart? I'm I I'm pretty tired. And I'm gonna end soon. But I want to do this one quest. They began raiding our farm a few days ago. There are more now. I have no idea where they're coming from. It's our duty to protect our own, even if others will do nothing. Father taught us that. The guards claim there's no evidence of them, so they won't lift a finger. He's not coming with us? I think I understand, and you would join us, though you have no personal stake in this fight? <laughs> An honor. There's no point in waiting. Let's go. Gentlemen. I'm invisible. <laughs> you would help us. <laughs> I'm just here to watch, pal. Yup, buddy? You good? In the name of our father. Y yeah. <laughs> Just stop in the middle of the road to say that. These two people are gonna die, aren't they? I'm terrible in combat. So it's like I, I can't protect them. Why are you looking at me like that? This guy might not look too pretty. That's alright. Alright, I still need to get that fucking dispel spell. I have not seen a single one. <sighs> I'm not gonna remember next time. You know, I was gonna take a blackberry, but I- I- th they're definitely gonna fucking call me a thief. Anthus, are you ready? 
Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Defend yourself. Here they come. Where? They're f just fucking goblins, dude. Oh, you guys got this. These goblins don't have shit. Seriously, that's it? Oh, there's more. Why are goblins attacking this single farm? What do they have to gain out of this? Tomatoes? I don't know. They could just... They just like hunt animals with this amount of energy. Like, it, it has to be not worth it anymore at this point. They've sent in six goblins. Who have who have died to to these these two kids? Yeah. Guys, don't help me or anything. Could, uh, could use a little help here, guys. <laughs> Fucked. Kinda, kinda sucks I can't see my own fists because I don't know what I'm aiming at. Oh, the other guy died. Oh no. This guy might, might make it out of here. This guy's not going to make it out of here. Well, that's awkward. What do you what does he have on him? Yes, yeah. I'll be respectful. I'll let him rest for like another minute. These goblins are Lay off, dude! Holy shit! <clears throat> dude, back off! Holy shit! I wish I did, like, a little bit of damage, maybe. Let's protect me, skeleton! P please, for the love of God! Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, pal, I defend your farm, but, uh... Problem... 
Your sons are dead. This is probably all my fault. And I'm taking their keys to your farm as payment. So, uh, you're... Thank me in advance. <coughs> that was some quest. I should sleep- I should have slept in his farm. Just to- just to really drive it home. is taking a long time to load. It's a little concerning. So, uh, good news. <laughs> uh, buddy, buddy, good news or bad news first? Oh, ba there's bad news? Oh, dear God. Yeah, so, uh... Allison and Antus need your help, whether they know it or not. About that. <laughs> Foul things. Hey. I should have been with them. I... I'm sorry. I'm afraid I have nothing to offer you. What little... Oh, cool. Great, so I don't get anything out of that. Because I failed so miserably. Well, they don't matter to me anyway, so... And what better way to end the Oblivion stream than with a beautiful portrait? I'm gonna, gonna take a screenshot of this right now so that I can put it on the thumbnail. Maybe should have tried a bit harder? Do you understand? Do you understand, like, the equipment I have? I have no armor. I, I don't have any weapons. I'm just a smemby, dude. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm going to take a 12 hour nap. I don't know when I will stream next, so we'll we'll see. So good night everybody. Don't like your don't let your Xbox 360 discs crack into that's all I have to say. Babana? Yeah, me too. Okay, good night.